Well, as we get to the end of a week, let's practice something that should be at the end of every day, the, the beginning of every day, and during the day. And that is the practice of learning to be kind all the time to everyone. In Proverbs 11, verse 17, it says, Kind people do themselves a favor, but cruel people bring trouble on themselves. Have you ever been cruel? Maybe you didn't mean to be, but you were. And then you saw with your human eyes what it caused. It's a domino effect. Now, sometimes I've been cruel, but I was very, very tired at the time. And, and later on, I wish that I could pull it back. But of course, once it's out there, <laughs> it's out there. You can't pull it back. Coleridge said, The happiness of life is made up of the minute fractions, the little, the soon forgotten charities of a kiss, of a smile, a kind look, or a heartfelt compliment. Well, if you would like an ironclad formula for improving your relationships, for improving your attitude and your life, try this. Be kind to everyone. Now here is the key. Don't be kind to just the people you know. <laughs> or the people that can help you, or the important people at work. Be kind to everyone, all people that you meet, with no exceptions. It is a practice that I strongly encourage you to adopt. Strive to be kind even to those people that are not kind to you. Sometimes, that's the toughest job of all, but sometimes that can be also the most rewarding. Not surprisingly, kindness has its own reward. When you weave the thread of kindness into the very fabric of your life, you'll be giving a priceless gift to others and also to yourself in the moment, but not necessarily in that order. It is something that will live on long after you've left the area. They'll feel your kindness. It is like a shadow that you cast, a positive shadow.